Hello and welcome back guys. First of all, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have given to me. I've been flooded with so many comments with so many different things. I know I haven't been able to keep up with it because of my academics and now I want to start with what you guys are asking. I've been getting requests for these two videos. One is how to make the creative common videos and the other is how to make thumbnails in Canva in detail. So I'm going to show it in detail with how I start with searching and then editing the creative common videos for monetization. Um I'll try not to leave out any points or fast forward the video like before so that you guys can understand. I'll also leave timestamps down in the description if you guys want to skip to certain part of the video. So let's get started. The first step is YouTube search. Open YouTube. Now you need to know what kind of video you want to upload and choose the video that you think will attract viewers. So let's say I want to search for things that kill relationships. And then you click this filter button here. Then under features, click creative commons. Now, I've said this so many times that all these videos even if it's filtered to creative common may not be a CC video. You always have to be extra sure and careful when you deal with a CC video. Let's choose one for example. And then down here in the description, you can see under license, this video is a Creative Commons video and the creator is allowing you to reuse the video. Now a little note here, no, you cannot upload the exact same video and expect it to be monetized. Yes, you can add in your creativeness to the video or your inputs and monetize it. If you want to know more, the link is down in the description. Okay, I've downloaded the video. Now let's move to the second part which is script. There are two ways here. The first is the same tip that I've given in my previous video. Watch the entire video and then break down your key points like here the video has five common behaviors so break down the video to five chapters and then write your script similar to the video. Next way is a shortcut where we'll paraphrase the original script. Now to get the original script click the three dots here and then show transcript. Now toggle timestamp and then copy the entire text and then paste it on your notepad. Then use a website called quillvote.com. It's pretty simple to use. Open a new notepad to save your updated script. Copy certain part of the original script and then paste it and click paraphrase. There you have your script in just few clicks. Copy it to your new notepad and repeat the same with the entire text. Let me quickly finish this and then come back. Third is key points design in Canva. I've finished the script. Now the third part is to design key points in Canva. Let's go to Canva. Click create a design and set it to 1920 by 1080. Then you can either start making it all by yourself or use a template. I'm gonna use one. Let's go with this one. You can use any you like. I always duplicate the page so that I can always go back to the original template. Now change or move the elements as you prefer. And then copy the points from your script to the Canva page. Change the text style if you want. I am doing the same thing for the rest of the points as well. When you are satisfied with your design, then click share and then download. Now the fourth part is to record your script. You can always do it yourself or hire someone from a freelancing site. I prefer doing it myself. I use Audacity to record. I think I've already made a video on how to use Audacity to record. I will put a link down in the description. If you guys want to check it out, open your script and start recording. I've finished recording. I make few changes to the audio so that the audio sounds good since I'm not using any mic to record. I reduce the background noise, cut parts of the audio that I don't need and amplify the voice and then export. Now the main work is to edit the video. 
I use Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys use any other editing apps, it's basically cut, delete and add in your input. Select the folder where you want to save your work and then name it and hit OK. Now import everything, the video, the designs that we made and then the audio. I separated the audio to seven different parts based on the video so that it will be easy for me to edit. Now drag the video to the timeline. The first thing that you want to do is remove the original audio, then cut the video to seven different parts. Intro, the five different points of the video and then the outro. Cut right where it shows the points. We'll replace it with our designs later. Do the same for the other parts of the video too. Now drag the design and scale it to the frame size. And delete this. Now drag the audio to the timeline. This is the intro recording. I'm gonna cut out the first few seconds of the video and then play the video and audio and see if my recording matches the video. So right here, I say five common behaviors that kill relationship. Drag the design to match the audio. Then all I do is go on and play to match the audio. If it does not match, then cut and delete the unwanted part and drag the matched one. Repeat the same to the rest of the video. Now a few tricks that I use when my audio is longer than the video, like here. If I want to add in something, then I go to Canva and make something for the audio and then add it in this part. Or I decrease the speed duration of the video so that the video is a little longer than before. After finishing the edit, I add in my intro and outro of the video. I made this in Canva. I've already made a video showing how to make your intro and outro in Canva. I'll leave a link down in the description. Then add in the outro. And then the intro. Next, I add in some transitions. You can download the transitions or add in the one from the library. It's very easy. Just drag and drop where you want the transitions. And repeat. The last thing that I do, which is completely optional, is that I add in background music. The background music is a royalty free music. Drag the music and place it below your audio and then decrease the volume. After you are done with everything, export your video. I've already uploaded the edited video if you want to check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description. Now the last thing to do is attribute. Make sure to attribute the original creators when you upload the video. And also upload it under Creative Commons license. If you don't know how, the link is down in the description. And there it is. This is how you edit and upload a Creative Commons video. If you have any questions about the video, please leave them down in the comment sections. I do read them all. With that said, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and also join us by subscribing you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Sunday.